the one to ten, of course, you know, well, one. Your being idea of fun's a little odd. Well, here's this is a perfect. This is actually a perfect <laughs> example to uh, to explain something. This breadometer is the historical perspective of the storm. Now, I did not do an impactometer tonight. I should have. The impact meter would have been probably a seven, but on the breadometer tonight's little storm would have been a nuisance storm, a one. They're always. They're not always the same. Well, in this case, we'll just stick to the breadometer. It's going to be a ten. Uh, on Friday and Saturday. No doubt about that, much like the uh, Run for Your Lives blizzard of 2010. All right, here are the latest uh, numbers. Now, I did see another model run in the last 10 minutes. I don't think I saw enough to change anything. One was a little drier, one was about the same, and they're going to oscillate and ebb and flow for the next 24 hours. But essentially, Bullseye, Winchester, Frederick, Hagerstown, yes, I did extend that up into the Catoctin Mountains, and also Gaithersburg, Rockville, Silver Spring, and Manassas, and Tyson's. We're talking 18 to 24 inches now 12 to 18 when you jump uh, 995 and this too could change. We may have to bring this 18 to 24 inch band down a little bit depending on the uh, cold air. But right now it's what we're thinking 6 to 12 down to the South Patuxent River and that's because you're not going to have a pure snow. It's not going to be a pure snow across the board. It will be La Plata north and westward. No doubt about that. OK, let's talk about historic storm Friday to Saturday. Um, you know, you can do some things between now and tomorrow. Uh, get your prescriptions filled, and that includes you know, EpiPens and Tylenol and just aspirin, just stuff you need. Uh, change your travel plans now. Maybe too late for flights. Storm's going to affect the entire I-95 corridor, although we seem to be the bullseye. Keep your devices charged and tweet and Facebook as before and after pictures. That's good stuff. We like that. Three degree guarantee. We have to show this for you tonight. Uh, we went for a high today of 32, and it was 31. Not bad. We're 38 of the last 41 and we're going to go 38 tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a pretty good day. All right, live look outside. 26, still a little bit of light snow at National. Winds are dead calm and the relative humidity pretty high, 88% with the uh, snow still falling. Now here's radar. It's about to cross Prince George's County into Anne Arundel County. Still going to snow for a while, another 45 minutes down into St. Mary's County into Calvert County, but it is pretty much done uh, off to the west. But it doesn't take much. You know, it's been so cold, every little flake kind of counted, so to speak, and then just enough heat from the cars made it just an ice rink. Right now we're looking at some snow. This is live. We're looking at some snow from Upper Marlboro down to Dunkirk 382. It is now east of 301 and it continues to push over towards the shady side and across the bay. So future cast looks like this. Just cold tomorrow. 22 Gaithersburg to start 26 downtown by 9 o'clock. Now we're 26 in Fairfax and 26 also in Silver Spring and clear uh, by Lunchtime, we're in the low 30s, which actually isn't so bad. And then by 6 p.m., we're back in the 30s and some upper 20s in the suburbs. And we'll advance this now all the way to show you the beginning of the storm. And this is Friday now at 3 p.m. Already pretty good snows in Manassas and Leesburg and Winchester. It's going to snow first in Culpeper, then in Manassas, then in D.C., and then over in Olney. Okay, let's talk about the, uh, day, the uh, day planner. Nice day tomorrow, really. I mean, sunshine. There will be some slick spots to start. I'd allow a little extra time tomorrow. 34 with sunshine by 1 p.m. Well, no surprise here. Friday, Saturday, red weather alert days, 4 to 10 by midnight and then 8 to 18 by evening uh, on Saturday. All right, next seven days. Hammer time uh, Saturday. Yeah, then we're packing the 40s Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now looks like a chilly rain on Tuesday. All right, thank you, Topper. Uh, right now on the phone, we've got Mike Zinn, who is a spokesperson for DC. Mike, thanks for for joining us tonight. And I guess before we start in, to be fair, the response across uh, DC, Maryland and Virginia, many people have been criticizing it across the board. But to speak specifically about DC, did this storm catch the city off guard? Yeah, I mean, thank you for having me on. Uh, you know, I think with with storms like this, you're always working off the weather model and the prediction. National Weather Service had it coming in at less than half an inch and we're or just shy of an inch and a half. I, I think latest I've heard is 1.3 inches. So it was more than expected and we've uh, done our best to reallocate resources uh, to get uh, to get trucks on the road in a timely manner. So were there crews out there pre-treating the roads before this yeah, snow started so coming we in? Had, we had 50 trucks uh, getting out at four o'clock mm -hmm. uh, to pre-treat the roads. We've upped that to 150 trucks to, pre to treat the roads and clear, clear the roads this evening. Um, so we're, um, you know, we're just, uh, we're just, we, well, first of all, we understand people's frustrations. Too many people had uh, really, uh, really troubling commutes this afternoon and this evening. Are uh, and they're still having that problem. Some people still haven't gotten home. Yeah, uh, and so we're getting those trucks out there. We're trying to get, uh, get things cleared up and back to as close to normal as we can.